Hi, I'm Susan O'Dell of Foodell.com, an online cooking community teaching the hungry generation how to eat. Next week is Christmas and I'm really excited about Christmas, but right now I'm more excited about the goodie bag that I just picked up from Liberty Heights Fresh. They're a market in Salt Lake City, I live in Park City, and now they're delivering fresh veggies and great produce to Park City every week. I just wanted to show you what, I'm in, what I got in my bag this week, and you can have a look at it and I'll give you some ideas of what to do with it. So first of all is everything's organic, everything is sustainably farmed. It looks just beautiful. This is escarole. It's uh, a little bit bitter but not quite as bitter as some of its sister leaves like chicory or endive. I'm just going to make a really simple salad with this. I think with a little bit of blue cheese and maybe some toasted walnuts and that's it. I'm dying for some fresh greens because it's really cold and snowy out so this is just what I need. I've got some fennel. Look at this great fennel bulb. I'm going to, I think I'm going to saute this with some onions. Maybe braise it in just a little bit of chicken stock. Nice salt and pepper. have a nice piece of cod that I'm going to use, some Pacific cod. Put that on top with a really nice braise of onions and fennel. Absolutely delicious. This is curly kale, and I know some people turn up their nose, kale, but kale is delicious. Put it in the oven, roast it at 350 degrees, toss it with just a little bit of olive oil and some salt, put it in the oven, you toast it for 10-15 minutes, it comes out really crispy like potato chips. Toss it with a little Parmesan cheese right before you eat it, and you will buy it every day of your life because it's so good. And look at these carrots. I don't want to do much at all to these. These rainbow carrots are absolutely stunning. They're nice and soft and young. They're going to be great. I'm just going to blanch them very quickly. I'll peel them, slice them, blanch them, maybe saute them in just a little bit of butter, maybe a little sugar to bring out their natural sweetness. Great side dish. I've got beets. Oh, look at these beets. Beets I'm going to make a soup with. I'm going to roast the beets first and I'm going to make a pureed soup. I'm going to add some uh, onions and maybe some leeks and carrots and celery. I'm going to saute those in butter. I'm going to add my roasted beets, puree the whole lot, add a dollop of creme fraiche on top. I've got a great recipe for that specific soup on foodl.com. Try it. Be roasted beet soup. Uh, what else? Oh, we've got mandarins. I think these, these are clementines part of the mandarin family. You know what? I'm not going to do a damn thing to these. These are going to taste really good just the way they are. I've already had a bite. They're really sweet and delicious. But if you want to, you can always cut them in segments. Add them to your salad with your escarole and maybe some toasted or lightly sautéed almonds are really good with the clementines. Finally, well almost finally, I've got some honey. And this is a local Utah honey, and I'm going to add this to my smoothie in the morning because I just got some frozen berries, or I have some frozen berries left over from the market, farmer's market this summer. Um, another thing I like to do is make granola, which I have a great recipe for, and add my uh, drizzle my honey on top of the granola. Oh. I just can't wait. It's great, great honey. And this wasn't in the bag, but it was available for purchase. Um, we've got some cheese. It's a nice blue cheese from England. I mean, the smell is just terrific. I can smell it from here. And then this is a really unusual product. I haven't even tried this yet. These are walnuts in syrup from Armenia. And you mix the nice sweet walnuts with some nice pungent cheese and put it on a cracker and you've got an excellent, excellent appetizer for your guests. And mine are all coming on Monday, so that's what I'm going to serve them when they get in with a little cocktail. That's all I got today. I've got great recipes on foodell.com for a lot of these things and a whole bunch more, so please check it out. And if you don't live in the Salt Lake or the Park City area, look for a market like Liberty Heights Fresh near you, a market that cares about sustainably produced produce and other ingredients, and also one that cares about you and your health and can provide you with good-looking things like this every day of the week. Bon appétit.